Summer backpacking may just be the best backpacking, but to some degree we take it for granted. We talk a lot about extreme cold or worst case scenario, making sure that we have all the proper gear to keep us safe in the worst conditions. But when summer comes around, there's a few things we can switch out to not only make our packs lighter, but to be more comfortable once the weather gets warm. Here are seven pieces of gear you may want to take on your next summer trip. Let's check it out. In the summer, the number one thing you're going to deal with is the heat, and heat means sweat. So probably the thing that most people are going to wish that they had is some good back ventilation. And there are a lot of good packs out there that provide good back ventilation, but almost all of them are heavy. And if you think about it, the only thing that will make you hotter in the summer is carrying a heavy load uphill. But if you want to stay lightweight and even ultra light, then I recommend the Z-Pax Arc Air Ultra. This pack only weighs 20 20 ounces, which is amazing in itself. But the really cool thing about it, pun intended, is the way that the frame arcs off the back to allow really good back ventilation. Z-Pax uses this flexible, almost external type frame and a mesh backing to bend the frame into an arc. That way, only the mesh and the top and bottom of the pack come in contact with your back, providing really good back ventilation and allowing sweat to evaporate to keep you cool. If you're hiking in the summer and you want to stay cool, reasonably sweat free and lightweight, there aren't many other options other than Z-Packs. Another beautiful thing about summer is the nights aren't as cold, allowing you to get even lighter with your sleep system. Even in the mountains, nights can be mild with lows in the mid 40s, which means that you can take a nice and light quilt. I have this 30 degree quilt from Enlightened Equipment that might even be a little bit of overkill in warm summer nights, but that's the great thing about quilts is if it gets too warm, you can easily vent the arms and legs to help regulate warmth. Quilts are really versatile and super lightweight. This 30 degree quilt weighs just 17 ounces and you can go even lighter if you want to with a 40 degree quilt. If you're looking for great ultralight gear, you really need to check out Garage Grown Gear, the sponsor of this week's video. Garage Grown Gear specializes in ultralight with quite a bit of cottage backpacking gear. It's one of the only retailers, if not the only retailer, that carries everything from Z-Packs and Lighten Equipment, Six Moon Designs, you can get them all in the same place, as well as a host of other small brands and high quality lightweight gear. One of the things I love is checking out their newsletter it's regularly introducing me to backpacking brands that I didn't even know existed. Sign up for their newsletter and get 10% off your first purchase, as well as staying up to date as what's going on in the ultralight world, as well as the cottage industry. Garage Grown Gear recently asked if they could become a regular sponsor of my channel. So if you want to support small brands while also supporting me and this channel, go support them by checking them out at garagegrowngear.com or through the links in the description. Warm weather also means you can take a lighter sleeping pad with a lower R value. You can even go as light as eight ounces with this Thermarest Uber Light with an R value of just two. We talk a lot about how important R value is because R value is half of what keeps you warm in colder weather, but in the summertime, R value isn't as important, meaning that you can take a lighter and even cheaper pads like this Climate Static V. These are super comfortable and really affordable at just $54, but the only problem with these is they aren't great for colder weather because their welded design creates these valleys where the pad is only millimeters thick. Almost all climate pads are designed this way, making them poor choices for cold weather, but quite possibly the perfect summer pad. The welded design doesn't affect comfort and probably even enhances it. So if you want a great affordable and comfortable summer pad, check out the Climate Stack. V. Okay, something that people might be a little more hesitant about, but can be a great piece of summer equipment, especially in humid climates in the east, like along the AT and other trails, and that is an umbrella. When it comes to rain, most people think about traditional rain gear, but when it's hot and humid, you're going to get more wet from sweat than you will from rain. In humid conditions, even the most breathable rain gear will still soak you with sweat. But in the summertime, when temps are warm and the threats of hypothermia are low, an umbrella can do wonders to keep you dry, both from the rain and from sweat. I've got a couple of different umbrellas, including this Z-Pax that weighs just 6.8 ounces, and this one from Six Moon Designs that is currently loaned out to a friend that is even lighter, just 5.5 ounces. The other cool thing about umbrellas for summer hiking is that they can also serve as a sun shield. My Z-Pax umbrella has this reflective color that helps keep the heat off your neck and your head in hot summer conditions. 
Okay, so I've been talking a lot about how hot it gets, but even in the summertime, it can still get cool at night. And you might want something to take the chill off once the sun goes down. And I can't think of anything better than my new favorite mid-layer, the Farpoint Alpha Cruiser. Designed primarily as an active layer, it's lightweight at an incredible four ounces, and it provides just enough warmth for a cool summer evening in the mountains. Don't be surprised if you buy one of these and you see holes in it, it's part of the design. It keeps it super lightweight, super breathable, but still has enough loft to keep you warm on a cool summer evening. Okay, the last thing on my list that's really nice to have when summers get buggy, and that is a really good head net. I remember a hike many years ago in Glacier National Park in August where the mosquitoes were so bad that they were biting us through our clothing. Here's a picture of my shoulder and all the mosquito bites that I got through my shirt thousands of mosquitoes. And if our guide hadn't brought us these head nets, we would have been eaten alive. And this would have been a picture of my face rather than my shoulder. Head nets are cheap and light like this one from Sea to Summit that weighs less than an ounce and costs less than $30. Those are just some of the things specific to summer hiking that you might want to consider as temps are warming up and we enter into the best months to go backpacking. But I know that there's something that I'm missing. So if you can think of some great gear that's great to have specifically for summer, please do drop us a comment and let us know. Be sure to check out Garage Grown Gear at their website, garagegrowngear.com, or through the links in the description. Like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching.